my last video, I have mentioned that according to Fisher's lock and key hypothesis, the active site of an enzyme is rigid and pre-shaped. But X-ray crystallographical studies proved that enzymes are not rigid. They are quite flexible in shape. Therefore, in 1958, Daniel Koshland extended Fisher's ideas and proposed the induced feed model. According to this model, the interaction of substrate with the enzyme induces a fit or a conformation change in the active site of the enzyme, resulting in the formation of a strong substrate binding site. Due to induced fit, the appropriate amino acids of the enzyme are repositioned to form the active site and the catalysis occurs. You can see that the active site structure of ES complex is different from free enzyme. According to this model, the active site is not rigid and pre-shaped. It changes its shape slightly to accommodate the substrate. This is also known as hand-in-glove model. This is more acceptable as compared to lock and key model.